Hi, I'm going to show you how to install OpenSSH on Windows 7 with Sidewin. Now first I'd like to give a big thanks to uh, this person over at pigtail.net forward slash LRP print serve Sidewin TAC SSHD and if you have any other questions or you're running into problems you can just read up on this great article and how to install OpenSSH on Sidewin in Windows 7. So first we're going to need to download is Sidewin. You can go get it at sidewin.com and just download their latest version setup.exe and go ahead and grab yourself a um, uh, putty. Once you got those two things we're going to open our Windows Explorer and we're going to take that setup.exe we're just going to cut it because we're going to move it at the same time we're going to go to our local directory the C drive and we're going to create a new folder called Sidewin C Y G W I N and we're going to go into that directory and we're going to paste that um, setup so we're just going to right click and run as administrator and the user account control pop up will pop up and just click yes if you have a username and password enter that in it may request you for that and it'll open this up. So we're just going to click next and we're going to install from the internet. Recommended directory, all users just uh, click with the defaults directory, um, direct connection. Okay, and it's going to uh, let you pick a download mirror that you can select. Um, if one of them doesn't work, you can select any one is fine. And if it doesn't work, just click back or whatever because it may be down that website but I just like selecting the top from the list box uh, deck, uh, dash soft.com we're gonna just click next it's gonna download all the files now you may get this error if you installed Sidewin for the first time um, they're just telling you uh, to check out the documentation um, if you first time you use uh, in time installed Sidewin on the system then you can ignore this message it's um, uh, fine, just click OK. And now you can select all the packages that you want to install. There's tons of Linux packages that you can install, but right now for this tutorial, I'm going to show you OpenSSH. OK, type that in the search box right there. And we're going to click right here on Skip to change it to the latest version. And make sure under B that box is X'd. And it should say OpenSSH. So we're going to click next and make sure you have this checkbox. It's recommended. And just click next. It's going to download all the packages and software. Then you'll notice it'll be installing it and configuring it. So it may take a while depending on your internet connection and your computer speed. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back when it's done. All right, it just completed and we're going to click finish. You may want these both of these checked. It's recommended and finish. Now we have Sidewin installed and open, open SSH on top of it. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to add a system variable to the system. So we're going to click start, right click on my uh, computer or computer and properties. We're going to go to advanced settings and environment in variables. You're going to go down to system, system variables and you're going to look for path. Click on that or we're going to edit it. So just go to the very end of it. And this is what you're normally going to see. Um, yours may be different. Right here you may see a bunch of um, uh, uh, lists right here. So we're going to add to the very right of it to the end. Just go all the way to the end. We're going to add semicolon. We're going to put C colon backslash sidewin c y g w n backslash bin and there we go that's it and it's just going to enable the command prompt to use all the um, uh, linux tools so click ok ok and ok we can close out of that so next thing we're going to do is we're going to change some permissions on the past WD and group files to get OpenSSH running. So we're just going to go to all programs. We're going to look for Sidewin and we're going to run the terminal. Right click it as administrator. 
and it'll open up, set up for the first time. It may take a while depending on your computer. And I've also created a document that you can go ahead and download, step-by-step -step instructions that I created. So I'm just going to copy and paste this commands over here. It's chmod. Um, it's going to allow read access, I believe, and uh, write, and just copy and paste it across, just some, uh, one line at a time. This is a lot easier than just typing it in manually, so I'm just copying it over. Let's try that again. Paste. And we are going to create a file. The touch command usually is to create a file. Um, and we're going to change the permissions on that file that we just created. There we go. Now what we need to run to create the keys and everything is ssh tac host tac config and it's going to take a while it's going to generate the host keys rsa key dsa and should you use privilege separation be used just click yes a new local account and we're going to say yes and yes, we want to install it as a service. Every time our computer boots up, OpenSSH will be running. And when it comes to um, uh, enter the value for, of SideJoin for this daemon, enter N-T-T-Y-S-E-C. Um, sorry about that. Let's um, uh, redo that. Sorry about that. It's N T S E C T T Y. There we go. Make sure we get that right. And do we want to use a different name? Yes, we do. And the name is going to be SSHD. This is very important. Make sure you name the new account SSHD. And we're going to re enter the name. And you can just make up a password for it, make sure it's secure. Re-enter it. Okay, that has been configured. So make sure you close out of, out of everything. Make sure um, the terminal isn't running. All side join processes are closed. And we're just going to command prompt. And we're going to change directory to C colon uh, backslash sidewinds backslash bin and if you notice ls which isn't a command for windows it is normally on linux works and you can list all the directories so it's kind of fun but anyways what we need to do in here in command prompt is we're going to run the command ash in here and it'll open up a dollar sign right there. And now we can do a rebase all. So we're going to do forward slash USR forward slash bin forward slash re B A S C A L L. Let that run. Okay. It is successfully uh, rebased everything. So we can just close out of that. And we're just going to go back and run the Sidewind terminal. Right click. Always run it as, as administrator. Then the next steps is you're going to change the ownership of some files. You can go ahead and copy these and paste these from uh, my document I created. Changing ownership. And then we also need to harmonize all the accounts on Windows and the passwords. Too. So it's make group tech L right here in the group. And same thing for the past WD. Okay, there we go. So now that that's done, now we have to do one last important step is we need to go to services. So we're going to type in S here services.msc. 
I believe. And right there, you need to run that. And we're going to search for Sidewin SSHD. So just scroll down. And you should see it right there. So we're going to right click and go on properties. We're going to go to log on and we're going to log on as local system account and allow service to interact with desktop. So we're going to click apply and OK. And that's it. It's fully configured and ready to go. Now you can start the service in here if it's not already started, or you can run a command in Linux. I believe I'm a Sige, I'm a SVR um, starting service. But anyways, you can just start it right here. Much easier. And it will should automatically run as the computer restarts. It should run right here, CYG run SRV.exe. And it should run the SSH server. So now that we have it up and running, we're going to test it out. We'll go back into our downloads folder and we're going to run PuTTY. And we're going to see if it's up and running. So enter the host name as 127.0.0.1. This is just the local host. This is the loopback network interface um, uh, IP address, which basically kind of goes out and in, connects to your computer. It's just a virtual um, uh, device in your um, uh, network settings and most operating systems that it's really handy to check um, your own computer. Let's say if you're running a web server and you wanted to test it out locally on the computer, you can just type that address in and it'll connect to your own computer. So that's kind of handy. We're going to SSH into that. And you may get this potential security breach. Just click yes. And we're going to log in as your account username. Mine is uh, TYLER. And the password, now this isn't the password that you entered in before for creating an SSHD account. This is going to be the password for your Windows account. So I'm going to type that in. And there we go. We have SSH access to my Windows machine. So we can do LS. There's nothing in there because let's do to LS. Tag A, I believe. We're in our user profile in, um, uh, let's go back to that computer, C. Right now we're in this directory, home, your username, and right here. Now to get out, we can do cd, dot, dot, and we're in the home, and we'll do cd, dot, dot, cd, and we're in the root directory of the uh, sidejoin folder right here. So you can see all of that stuff right there. Now the handy thing is to switch between folders on a computer, you're going to side C Y G drive D R I V E forward slash C. Let me get that. We need to put a CD in front of it to change directory. We need to change directory to side drive forward slash C. And it's just the telling them uh, Besides when, uh, what directory we need to go to in Windows and LS, as you can see, we are in the root directory of our computer right here. So we can do CD user, let's do, nope, it's CD, sorry about that, C, Y, G, D, R, I, V, E, forward slash C, forward slash user. Okay, it seems to not be working. Oh, it's user, sorry about that, CD. There we go. We're in that. You can see all that. We can even just go into the account profile LS. You can see all of that. So let's try and go to CD to the D. Desktop. And you can see all the files on your desktop. So if you wanted to change to a different system drive, you do um, uh, CD forward slash CYG drive forward slash the other letter name that's mounted in Windows. To always get back to your home directory, you can do CD and then using the shift right to the left of your um, number one, there's going to be a little squiggly sign, so click that, and that'll take you to your root directory in OpenSSH server right here back in the Sidewin home username and right here. So there we go. We've got OpenSSH running on this computer. 
And if you want to remotely access this on your local network, you would just type in the IP address of this computer on the network. To find that out, we can just open up command prompt and we'll do IP config. And we can see our IPv4 address is 10.1.9.32. So on the other computer, you would do in putty 10.1.9.32 and it, just type in your user credentials in here and you should have SSH, SSH access to this Windows box. Now also note that if you have multiple user accounts, make sure they have um, all passwords on them and at least opened up the command prompt once on each account. So just search for CMD in each account, user account in Windows, open it up, and then close it. And if, you have other, have, if you have any other problems, just let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, comment, uh, subscribe, and rate it. And thanks for watching. See you later.